Hey everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to show you my gravid females uh, for this season. Um, kind of talk about what I paired them with, when their due date is, and uh, kind of my predictions on whether the litter is going to be good or not. So let's get going. Alright, so the first female that I will have uh, dropping is my motley female head call albino possible head uh, annery um, she looks really really good I mean she is looks like she's going to explode um, you can just see how fat she is so she was bred to a sun glow male um, lava line I'm not real sure on what lava line is but uh, hopefully it'll make some good looking babies but she is due March 27th so she's got just about a month to go and she looks great I'm hoping she'll have around um, you know 14 16 babies she normally has a real small litter but the babies are just ginormous they come out huge so We'll see on her. And what I've done is I've written the due date in chalk pen right there. Um, just help me remember. And then this is the temperature of the hot spot. Uh, and the second one I've got, she's due on May 1st. So, uh, it is an arabesque uh, head albino, head striped tail, and she is bred to, let's see, a flamingo, hypo, head albino. So I should get some really colorful sun glow type stuff out of that one. I don't think she's going to have a whole lot, um, probably like 8 to 10 maybe a few more maybe 12 but um i wasn't going to breed her this year because she had a litter last year for me and um but she went off food so i went ahead and decided to throw a melon with her um this is my other motley female head albino and uh she is bred to an img hypo img uh, flamingo head albino um, I really don't think she's gonna have a good litter she had a really small ovulation um, she really hasn't swelled up much at all so not sure she might slug out might have a few good ones she has a good few good ones that'll make me happy so um, I bred her to him two years ago and she had 21 uh, but he uh, Last season, he lost one of his hemipenes during breeding season. He got this stuff impacted in there and lost one. Um, but he's fine now, but I don't know if that hurt the breeding this year. This year, I took all the bedding out and I put them on cardboard, corrugated cardboard, so the males wouldn't have that problem. And it seemed to work pretty good. All right, so she's due on May 6th. And I have two more due on May 6th. I have three due on the same day. Now, there's two females in here. They're Colombian rainbow boas. And they ovulated on the same day. And they had their post-ovulation shed on the same day. Now, one of them is hep uh, leucistic. And the other one's not. And then, then the father or the male is, is a Lucy. Uh, so I should get a combination of different things. So I've just got them in here together since they're due on the same day. And everything share that heat because the heat in that rack is not working very good. So, but that is exciting. Three on the same day. So we'll see. All right. The next one I've got after that is going to be this girl here. This is my Junglo Motley female. And uh, not real sure who she's bred to. I put several males in with her 
I'll know once they're born, you know, who the father was. That, that won't be a question, but uh, she had a real nice ovulation. Uh, she didn't have a post-ovulation shed, so that always concerns me, but I've had good litters when they don't even, so. Uh, yeah, I think she'll have probably, you know, like I said, 14, 16, you know, somewhere around there. She's She looks pretty fat, so any good babies will be good so excited to see what comes out of her and like i said she's due on this may 16th and then this girl this girl is due may 23rd and this is a hypo motley possible head snow but she is bred to a fire male and she had the biggest ovulation I've ever seen. Thought it was gonna kill her, she was so big. And uh, she's got, she's really fat. So um, fingers crossed I'll have some fire babies this year. So um, fire males, so half of these will be hypo and half of them will be motley. And then half of those will be fires, so that will be cool. Since I don't have a fire female. Since the male I bred her to was supposed to be a female, and then you see sperm plugs in the water bowl, and you're like, oh, okay. All right, who's next? So, all right, so this girl is next here, right? Yeah, so this is a jungle, and she's due June 1st. So this is a jungle, possible head albino, possible head uh, anery, and I put two males in with her. I bred a, a snow motley, and also a flamingo IMG hypo motley. Sunglow IMG. Um, he was pretty small. He's only like 18 months old, but I think he got the job done. So I'm hoping for IMGs out of this. If it's uh, if it's IMG that fathered it, hopefully uh, she's not hit. So then I'll have more IMG motleys, which is what I want. But she's been hugging the heat ever since she shed, so that's a good sign. And then, let's see, I got this girl. Don't have a date uh, for her yet because she just ovulated yesterday. So, she's still kind of fat. You can still kind of see um, her scale separation there. So, she shed probably in about 20 days, and then I'll count the days from there. If not, I'll just count from yesterday. But uh, she's bred to a sun glow as well. Um, so she's het albino. So I had to IMG mail in with her for a couple of weeks and he tried, but I don't know if he got her or not because she ovulated like a month later. So, but still, good babies, I'll take them. So that's that. Let's see. I get everybody I think that's it so I have 10 total females going this year um, which is good oh I missed one I missed one right here okay so this one here is um, she's due May 25th she is uh, she's had BPI and she was bred to a Aztec VPI mail from a friend of mine. So we're going to split the litter on this one. Um, so yeah, she's a, she's out of a Coop's pastel litter. So hopefully babies will uh, have that real nice look. Um, you know, I think she'll probably have 12, 14, you know, average. She, she looks pretty fat and she just 
had her post ovulation shed not too long ago, so. But she's hugging the heat too, so. I think that's the last one. So anyway, so far, good year. So, so far it's been a good year. Um, I still have a pair of VPIs paired together, but I don't think they're gonna go. Uh, I also had a red rum, or not red rum, red panther head VPI female that bred, um, and then she just never ovulated, so I don't know what happened there. But it's been a good year. Um, it's been later. Typically I have ov ovulations, um, you know, in late November, December. This year it was pushed back. The males just didn't seem like they were interested in the females. I had to really drop the temperature in here and cool it down some before they were interested. So, late start, but a good one. Um, also got Brazilian rainbows down there. Hopefully, they uh, will go, but uh, not crossing my fingers. So anyway, just wanted to do an update video. Uh, hopefully, uh, when these babies start dropping, I'll have some time to, to do some videos. I'll hopefully, I'll live stream a few, um, you know, litters this year. So uh, stay tuned, and we'll see what comes. Thanks.